Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. Just got back from SHOT Show 2022. Saw a lot of cool stuff. There was way too much to video. I focused in on a few. One was Meta Tactical. Take your Glock and convert it into an ATF legal carbine. It's pretty cool. You got to check it out. That's coming out soon. APF uh, has a completely takedown AR where the barrel comes off quick and easy. And what's really cool with it is it uses the traditional buffer tube, but it's got a side folding stock. They've got their own version. It seems to work pretty well. I really like it. I can't wait to get my hands on one of these to review. And then do you know what a binary trigger is? And if you don't, you need to check it out. Franklin Armory is coming out with a binary trigger for the Glock. Now, if you follow my channel, I've got a ton of Franklin Armory binary triggers. Yeah, your imagination doing this with a Glock, I don't know. It's going to be fun when it comes out. Viridian, Viridian Weapons Technologies coming out with a whole bunch of optics, including some outstanding pistol carbine and red dots and laser lights. Hollow Sun has got a huge lineup of some really nice pistol and carbine red dots optics. Big boys are still little boys at heart. Ever dream of having a hidden door in your house, like a secret room? You've got to check out Hidden Doors from Murphy Doors. Um, it's going to leave you all drooling. And of course, PSA, they just got a couple new ones coming out this year, including their 5.7 by 28 pistol. Now, this is going to be similar to the FN and Ruger's 57. And then I got just a couple of fun extra things, you know, police military dog training with some cool gear on um, training, doing a demonstration, and then a robot for the Air Force uh, that's actually currently doing some perimeter patrols. It's pretty cool. I'm going to put a sort of a menu on there. So if you don't want to watch it all, you can skip just to the section, sections that you want. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Check it out. All right, I'm here at Meta Tactical with Dirk. Show us what you got here. This is pretty cool. This is the world's first Pistol to rifle bullpup conversion kit. Pictured here is a Glock 17. The conversion process is very simple. Pull off your muzzle device, push out your trigger pin, open up your door, and you pull out your Glock. We've got a 16 inch barrel for you. And you provide the barrel. We provide the barrel and the chassis, you bring the Glock. Okay, and so you're gonna swap out the barrel just like when you break it down. Just like a quick field strip, swap the barrel. Put it all back together, throw your muzzle device on. All right, and you were telling me the first question everybody's going to ask is what? Is this legal? Is this ATF? Is this ATF approved? Yes, it is. ATF approved. This is not it a is pistol. Over 26 overall length, fully extended, fully collapsed. It is 22 inches, making it the shortest rifle on the market. Which means we can shoulder it. We can shoulder it. It has a stock. It has a it stock. It is not a brace. Not a brace. You do not need a tax stamp. It is not a loophole. Ambidextrous <laughs> charging handles, M lock all around, ships with pick rails. Nice. How's the trigger pull on it? Trigger pull is the same as your stock pull, except it's going to be straight. Okay. Flat back. Let's see it. Pull no it. No curve. I'm going to pull it, but there's no firing pin. As you can see, it's a straight okay. travel. You know roughly how many pound brake? About the same as factory, you say? Same as stock. Same as stock. So in other words, kind of mushy, crappy trigger on the Glock. Mushy, crappy trigger on the Glock. Yeah, I think it feels but at least now you got a rifle. A straight pull, and now you got a rifle. Okay, and here's what we got, some of the other versions. And now hopefully, yeah. hopefully we're going to get one of these in Beyond Seclusion's hands, yeah? and do a review on it. What's the MSRP going to be on these? MSRP on these is going to be six fifty. dollars Our SHOT Show pricing right now is five ninety nine. dollars Awesome. All right. Thanks, man. All right. Take it easy. All right. Hey, I got Jacob here with APF. We got a super cool takedown. Jacob, why don't you show us what you got here? Sounds good. So we got this side folding lower. Um, obviously, it collapse, folds over nicely. But as far as going together, Quick and easy. And that's APF. It comes with lower. So it's not a it's not a kit.
for the folding stock. So nothing wild and crazy, but now you got a complete gun. You can even collapse it over with it on still. So now unlike a piston gun, you cannot shoot that with it open. Correct. Okay. So sweet. And then to take the barrel off. Disassembly. Use gravity in your favor. Little elbow grease. Yep. Pulls apart. Then I can pack it away. Sweet. All right, guys, that's APF already out in production. Yep. Yes. You can get it now. Real quick here, we're at Viridian. They've got a new line coming out, the RFX. They've got red dots coming out. This is a green one. I'm gonna get my hands on some of these. We're gonna torture test them, review them. Really excited, here's the RFX 25, a little bit bigger, nice. Okay, so these, these are gonna be available this year. We got the RFX 35, even bigger. Oh, I can't wait to get a hold of this one. And then we also have some of these red or red dots for mounting. And then we've got, this is the HS2, okay? And this is just the laser light. We did the HS1. Exciting stuff coming from Viridian this year. I wanna leave out, we've got the H series coming, some cool red dots, okay? These are gonna be tough. We're gonna torture test them. We've got our hands on these. Excited, really excited to see uh, some of these products from Viridian. Yeah, just inform, these are green dots, okay? I say red dots is in the category, but we may have to recategorize that. These are gonna be green dots. So new for this year, we've got the HM3XT 3X magnifier behind the Ames Core. We've been shipping the Ames model for a couple of months now. The Ames Core is the Ames optic, but with just the core features. So it has a map price of $299 instead of $399. This and one. This one, right? The Ames $299 Core. doesn't have the solar. That's right. No solar. Uh, it doesn't have the glass sacrificial lens flip caps and it's a 2 MOA dot only on the Ames core. Nice. Sean, tell me about the magnifier. This is the HM3XT. It's got a shorter overall length and it's made of grade 5 titanium. Other than that, everything is the same as our HM3X magnifier. This one comes in at a 299 map price and it's got the same eye relief at two and three quarters inches. Nice. All right, Sean, what do we got here? This is the Holosun SCS. This attaches directly to a block MOS system with no plates. It's low enough to use factory iron sights. Let's take a look down it and see. Okay, it's cast titanium, grade five titanium. It's uh, It's got our advanced auto mode. So it's got forward and upward facing light sensors. So it can adjust to light in front of the shooter and above. It's got an expected battery life of anywhere from 20,000 to 100,000 hours, depending on use. And the way this system is designed, anytime it's exposed to light, it's always charging the battery with more power than it's being used. Sweet, and it of course has the, the standard shake awake, so. Well, this one doesn't have shake awake. You, it's got an on off button, so you can power it off, but this optic is designed to stay on all the time. Nice, okay. And you have a, uh, it does have a power button, and that same button, it's a multifunction button that allows you to turn on and off the outer ring. So you can run it with a 32 minute ring and a two minute dot, or just a two minute dot, like a lot of our other Holosun offerings. There we go. Oh, it's that ring only. Yeah. Okay, so what do we got here, Sean? This is the new EPS carry. This is an, is, this is an enclosed pistol sight that bolts on from the top. The EPS full size and the EPS carry both use our Holosun 507K footprint. It's got a six MOA dot and solar fail safe and it's made out of cast aluminum. It's prototype, so it's not for sale yet. These are these are actually not prototypes. These will have available in uh, in May of this year, May of oh, 2020. Okay. And I misspoke. These are these are milled 7075 aluminum. Let's take a look down it and see what we got for a sight picture. <laughs> 
Yeah. We got just the dot. Can we change that? Uh, this one's got a six MOA dot on it. The EPS models are six MOA dot. All right. Let's take a look at the flashlight. Here. So this is Holison's new weapon mounted light. It's called the PID. It's got two modes. It's got a low 500 lumen and a high 1000 lumen mode. It operates off of a single 18350 rechargeable battery that's included, and the battery is charged via a USB C port down here on the bottom. What we got here. So this is the EPS full size, just like the EPS carry. It's an enclosed pistol sight that attaches uh, bolting on from the top. It's also got solar fail safe. All the EPS models are going to have a six MOA dot only. This will start shipping in May. Nice. And just like the EPS carry, the full size EPS has the HS507K footprint to it. What do we got up there by your thumb? So on the rail, we have our rail, made it, rail mounted laser. The RML is going to come with either a red LED or a, uh, or a green LED. And this is going to start shipping in end of uh, February 2022. What are we looking at for cost on that? Uh, the price on this should be around $120, $125. And the optic? The optics, uh, EPS and EPS carry both have a map price of $399. We're good. All right, this is the uh, HS507C GR X2 ACSS Vulcan. So it's got a long name to it, but it's a cool optic. It's made by Holosun exclusively for primary arms. You can purchase it at primaryarms.com. This optic has a large circle, and basically, when you get your, when you, when you draw and search for a sight picture, if you see any of that circle, you're misaligned, and that circle helps to guide you to the chevron, which is your point of aim. And this one has a map price of about three hundred thirty-nine dollars, and it's available now for primary arms. All right. So this is the uh, HE509T GRX2. This is a new 509T version with a green reticle. It's made out of grade five titanium. It comes with a uh, 509T to armor style adapter plate in the package. This one's got our multi reticle system, so you have the default 32 minute circle with a two minute ring, or you can run it as a circle dot, circle only, or dot only. Just like all of our other Holosun optics, the battery is installed on the side so you can re remove and replace your battery without having to take the optic off and check zero. And, and they're watertight, IPX. Yeah, these are these, these models are IPX8, so they're waterproof down to 30 meters for 30 minutes. Nice. I'm here at Franklin Armory with Brandon. Brandon's got a new product coming out that I think a lot of you guys are going to be interested in. Brandon, tell them, tell them what Franklin Armory is rolling out. So. Yeah, what's going on guys? I'm Brandon. Uh, I work for Franklin Armory here. I'm the director of marketing. Uh, you probably know us for our binary triggers. Well, this year, we decided to not say anything. We didn't do a pre-release. We didn't do a press release. No pre-release samples. Nothing. We kind of did a little bit of a teaser, but it was super vague. Not a lot of people can figure it out, but this year we just showed up to Industry Day at the range, Shotgun 2022, and we unveiled our GS173 binary binary firing system for the Glock 17 Gen 3. Now these are prototypes, so the final design may vary a little bit, probably a little bit of cosmetic things like uh, serrations, maybe some cuts. What kind of time frame you thinking? We're looking at Q2, right? Okay. So these are going to come as a kit, though. So I want to preface this conversation with this is actually a complete slide and a trigger, right? And okay. That GS173. It's easy to make out what that actually stands for. I know it's a lot of alphabet soup right there, but the G stands for Glock, S stands for straight trigger, 17, obviously a Glock 17, Gen 3. But with that being said, let that number alphabet soup salad thing that name be a barometer of things to come so if that was the change to a 19 gen 3 that might happen we're actually asking people to see what model they want to see next here basic function of this it's got semi and binary of course a glock does not have a manual safety uh what we're going to do is throw it in uh, semi right here obviously you can see the selector clears the optics cut and yes the slide will come optics cut Click that thing down, and that's where the fun begins. Super controllable. Basically, you uh, in binary, you pull the trigger, it fires. Slide reciprocates back, so chambers another round. You release the trigger, it fires. Also, just like the rest of our triggers, we can actually cancel that second shot. So just switch it over to uh, with your thumb or your 
your finger fully depressed on the trigger, you switch it from binary to semi, let your finger off the trigger, and it does not go bang. Now, price tag. Probably heard some rumors out there that's going to be a steep item. It's going to be looking at an MSRP of $899. I know there's a lot of sticker shock on that, but think about the math there, right? Any decent slide with an optics cut is going to be about 500 bucks ballpark for a decent one, right? Same thing with a trigger. Any decent competition trigger out there, probably 250, 300 bucks, right? Now you get this whole kit and caboodle for 899. You're going to be in that ballpark anyways if you do it to yourself, do it by yourself and get all these parts individually, but now you have the added binary function. So I think there's a lot of value to be had on there. And uh, yeah, there's definitely more to come. How's the trigger pull on that? You know, uh, how many pounds? Here, I'll change your cameras. You tell me. All right. Yeah. I'm guessing... I gotta say, it's, it's way better than the clock. Trigger. Four to five pounds, somewhere in between. Little trap. Up. Pistol travel, but oh, and the reset there was incredibly short. So now, Pretty crisp, clean, clean break. I mean, for pistol trigger, it's actually a huge improvement over the Glock factory, which is not hard to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, think about it this way, man. You got the binary function, which you're in binary right now. Yep. That's its setting on binary. Now, this one is actually locked in binary just for demonstration purposes but it will have a semi-auto mode and that semi-auto mode is just going to be as good as any competition trigger out there that's nice i'm guessing four four five pounds somewhere in there it's a nice trigger it's not it's as nice as the custom trigger that i had to have put in my glock at uh, a pretty hefty price anyway awesome brandon yeah. thank you yeah, i'll change it back here all right Well, guys, thank you so much for coming by. And if you uh, happen to get to SHOT Show before it closes, as it closes tomorrow, I believe at 3 o'clock, come by booth number 20349. But if you want to find out more and look for some more videos coming down the line, I'm more information about this GS173, visit franklinarmory.com and check out our socials. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Brandon. And Tom. Guys, I know this is not gun related, but this is so cool, and most of you are gonna just drool over this. This is Zach from Murphy Door. Murphy Door. Okay, we got a bookshelf here, or not? Show us what we got, Zach. Yeah, this is your uh, surface mount. So, voila! What's behind you? <laughs> Hidden room, vault door. Okay, we got some other super cool ones. Zach, show us the other ones. Zach, what do we got here? Okay, we got a bookshelf. So this, yeah, this is our classic uh, bookshelf. Uh, we have a little handle here for the show so people can find it. Usually you would grab the face frame, open the door. It's the French door. <laughs> Different wood species, stains, paint options. Very custom to that. Okay, tell me you guys aren't drooling over this. All right, let's see what else this I got. This one's nice. Okay, this, this bookshelf. Is our, this is our in-swing. You do out swing, in swing, you can put the hinges on either side. The nice thing about the in swing is the pass through space and the way it trims out. You know, Zach was just telling me that, and actually I was asking, the hinges are going to be kind of the key to this, and they do sell the hinges separately for, you know, the, the home improvement do it yourselfers. You have some different options with Murphy Door. All right, let's check out some of the other. We got a gun cabinet here, so you know that goes along with the channel. This is our gun cabinet. Another French door system. Uh, we have locking options. This is the gun cabinet comes with locking cabinets. Right here, we, okay, so we got the gun cabinet. Mechanical, mechanical key lock. Nice. We also have other options as far as uh, mag, mag locks. You can do a key fob, a wireless keypad, or if you want to get Batman, there's a finger scanner. <laughs> nice. All right, we got a couple more to show you here. So we quick. got <laughs> mirror here. You guys, this is our mirror door. Uh, this one's really cool application in a, a master bedroom. Oh, you're sweet. Adding, you're adding uh, not only a hidden door, but if you... You're adding all this functional space onto your closet. So we even offer uh, closet rods and shoe racks. So there's there's a lot of cool things you can do. So you got your hidden safe room, and then you also have your your personal defense weapons right inside. Of course. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so we're here at PSA, and the newest thing coming from PSA is their 5.7. That's going to compete with Ruger's 57 and the FN. Pretty sweet looking, guys. I'm guessing it's going to be a lot like the Dagger. It's comfortable. So then the next one up is going to be Optics Ready, and it's also then going to have Shredded Barrel. And the mag on this is going to hold... 23. Okay, the next thing here at PSA is going to be the subcompact dagger. If you look at the subcompact, the optics ready, it's got the rear sight mounted in front of the plate where the optic goes, and they are suppressor sights, so you're going to be able to co witness with the red dot. It's going to be fun to shoot. Vision 60 robot from Ghost. We uh, build, design, manufacture, and assemble these robots in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Been, Ghost Robotics has been in business for about five years. So, yeah, you can find us on all social media, Ghost Robotics. Cool. And in military application? Yeah, so it's set up right here for like persistent security. So it's got a quad uh, 640 boson thermal camera on the top. So nice. See, looking in four directions at once. Uh, it's got GPS, two GPS antennas, so it can do autonomous waypoint navigation for perimeter security. So you wow. program it to walk your perimeter. It's got thermal cameras on all four sides. It's doing that autonomously. So it, does it like notify or something that if it picks exactly if it gets a if it picks up a heat signature, it will alert you like back to the <laughs> command awesome. center. You can then take control of the robot to go invest. So you don't have to have a human on at all time to use it for the security. No, it just walks. That is sweet. And if it doesn't see anything, it doesn't tell you anything. But yeah, so and it'll just keep going. What's what kind of battery life? It does three miles of constant work or about six miles of walking. Wow. So we've got four of these right now at Tyndall Air Force Base, taking turns doing perimeter routes autonomously. <laughs> four of them. They're in two dog houses sitting in the middle of a swamp. So they walk in and out of a swamp to go do their route. And they do it 24 7. That is awesome. Yep. That is awesome. Look at the RGB camera on the front of it. And if I want, I can switch the thermal. <laughs> nice. So I, I didn't have the camera roll, and what he was telling me is, is when this is autonomous, it can send signals to a phone or something else or pop up on the screen so to alert a person. Otherwise, it just does its thing. Yep, it's, an auto it's autonomous. It can be programmed to do autonomous routes with GPS. But then alert somebody. It, yeah, yeah, do, using object detection with our cameras, it can alert you if, you, if it picks up a heat signal.